So tell me about the, this Kiki Palmer incident. You know, I never told nobody that story, man. And, and I'm going to just tell it because I think it can help a lot of people, you know. Um, I mean, Chris, he had this image of me. He wanted me to just grown, sexy, had his thug appeal. And we kind of just didn't see eye to eye. I didn't see the vision he had at the same time. It could have just been a small conversation. But for whatever reason, he didn't see eye to eye with whatever he was trying to do with my career at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt like I was just sitting on my hands waiting for him to do something. He was touring with Tiger and doing that, but he wouldn't take me with him. And perform on my songs that I'm seeing now. So, okay, I got to do my own thing. Uh, he had a conversation with me because I, I was upset. He was like, I could lead you to the door, but I can't make people fuck with you. You got to do it. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. So um, Kiki Parma hit me up. She was a fan of mine. She went to work. Uh, Harmony Samuels from my church. He uh, wrote with Chris Brown and did some stuff for him off his Fame album. He asked me to help him out on that, and I did it, and I did the video. And Chris was upset about it. felt like it was a bad look. So he decided to call me on the phone and um, tell me how much of a bad look, but he didn't tell me in a way, a professional way. So I had to, you know, check him and let him know, don't ever talk to me like that again. Or we'll have a conversation when you see me in person. And um, he he didn't like how that was, you know what I'm saying? But when I did see him in person, it was all cool. So I left it at that, you know what I'm saying? Then it's all, I know how he get down. And um, I know he's an impulsive person. You know what I'm saying? I love him. That's my little bro. You know what I'm saying? He can always come talk to me for anything. I've tried to talk to him several times, and I'm sure I will, especially after this. But, you know, even if I don't, it's all love. Um, he was mad about the Kiki Palmer thing, and he was like, you're going to ruin your fucking career, and I'm going to make sure the label never fucks with you. He said that over the phone? Yeah. You think that caused the, the real rift between you guys? Yeah, because... Not really, because... I knew he was just talking on the phone. I'm not Drake. I'm not Frank Ocean. Like, you're going to run into me again. So if it's a physical type of thing, we can do that. Like, but I knew it wasn't that. Mm -hmm. And I seen him again. And he was, oh, I love you. I was like, yeah, I love you too. You know, just don't, get, don't talk crazy to people. It's just not cool. I shouldn't talk crazy to somebody that's my intern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, everybody deserves respect. There's no such thing as a fucking celebrity. You're human. Yeah. Your blood is red just like mine. So I, I just had to... Show him I was a real nigga, basically, and he didn't like it. Hmm. But I seen him after that, and we was cool. I thought we was cool. Yeah. You working with uh, Kiki again? Yeah, I want to work with Kiki, and she's growing up now. So, uh, yeah, she's got a bunch of piercings now. <laughs> you like the new Kiki look? I like the Kiki look. Like I'm liking that. Look? I'm liking that a lot. Okay. Hmm. I mean, there's a, the August Alcina rumor. You know, I mean, we don't know what's going on with that. Oh, well, shout out to August. You winning, brother. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the young and winning. <laughs> 